Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our journey fish tanks. For those of you that are new, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and let's do this together. Alright guys, those of you that have seen my previous videos might have noticed that I now have a black backdrop here. And since then I have seen a lot of comments of people asking how do you put them on and that type of stuff. So, obviously I can't show you the video now on how to do this tank, but I do have another tank that I can show you how to do it. Come on, let's go. Alright guys, here we go. Here's that tank that I said that I'll show you. I had it laying around. Um, I was going to do it anyway by putting the black backdrop on it. But I'm just going to do it now anyway. Just get it over and done with and show you guys how to do it. Um, here's my little fry, my swordfish. They're all hiding. They're getting so big though. It's crazy. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let me show you. So all you're going to need firstly, as you can see here, a bottle of soapy water, uh, preferably the spray bottle, your black vinyl backdrop or any other backdrop that you want to have, whether it be like forest wood or anything, and a knife. Um, Alright, let me show you how to get it done. Alright, so firstly, you are going to want to take your soapy water and on the back on the outside of the tank that you're going to be using spray this leave enough soap and um, just so that you can move the vinyl around once you've put it on so it's not as sticky click subscribe just like that all right next step is Turn your vinyl upside down, remove the top piece just like this. There we go. Once you remove that whole back piece, you're going to have to take your spray bottle once again with the soapy water and just apply it to the surface, the sticky side surface. Just going to give that one more spray. Don't worry about all the water, it will still stick. Take it here and just put it up. Right. See, as you can see, you can doesn't have to be perfect when you put it on. And you just put it like that because of the soapy water. You can move it around, get it in the position you want. Alright, as you can see, it is on there. Let me just move it slightly down like that. So there's no gaps here at the bottom. What we might do. Alright, now that it's on. One thing I did forget to mention, you're going to need a card just to get all the soapy water out from underneath here. Um, start from the top, because water does obviously go down because of gravity, and just start in the middle, and just push it all out to the side. As you can see all the bubbles are out uh, you can see there's a bit of a gap at the bottom uh, but that's only because when I used that for the last tank 
as you can see I didn't really cut it that straight um, but that's alright because that is the bottom so you're going to end up putting soil and gravel in there at the back with plants so you won't see that right, so now here is the top of the tank but we have all of this left over don't worry about it that's what the standing knife is for so all you really have to do is just get the blade out and just cut it along the top there not obviously go too far down you don't want it to look from the other side and see this little gap here where you've gone too low other way that you can do it which I prefer is taking your card and when you push it against here at the edge you can see that this little part folds in here and just run the card down there and it will start to make a bit of a groove there uh, because of the glass it's really sharp as you know and then you can eventually see where the line is and cut directly down that line alright there we have it perfect on the edges all the way on the top and down that side and that's all you need to do just a reminder guys before you put on your vinyl make sure your tank is clean on the outside you don't want to put that vinyl on and then once you look from the inside on the other side of the tank you see all these bubbles and dirty marks that you can't get rid of now because now you have vinyl all over it if you're not sure on how to clean your tank have a look at my previous video I will put the link in the description for you and until then guys hit that like button click subscribe share what you can and I'll see you next time thank you very much bye bye now